Greetings and welcome back to Room 303 and Senior B English. And we turn now in our uh, My Perspectives text to page 569. We're going to introduce ourselves to the great Percy Bysshe Shelley. Now, our order of studying the romantic second generation poets is, of course, to study first Lord Byron. We've already, we've already addressed him. And then we'll address Shelley. And then finally, the great John Keats. So we're looking at the bottom of 569. Percy Bysshe Shelley, note the dates, 1792 to 1822. Notice how young, right, how young he, he is when he dies. Another romantic poet born to upper class parents, raised on a country estate. He would have inherited a seat in Parliament, but broke off relations with his father when he was expelled from Oxford after writing The Necessity of Atheism, as we said in other lectures. This is one of those famous moments in the history of, of uh, romantic thought. Shelley began writing poetry seriously at age 19. Among his finest works are Ode to the West Wind and To a Skylark. Both of these, of course, will be studied. A friend of numerous writers, he married Mary Wollstonecraft Godwin, who, as Mary Shelley, wrote Frankenstein, who, of course, we're going to talk about and have lectures for. Shelley drowned at sea while sailing a boat in a storm. He was 29 years old, and when he was pulled from the boat in the water, dead, tra tragically, he had in his pocket a, collected, uh, a copy of some Keats poems, which tells us what he thought of Keats. And of course, because of the quarantine, his body was burned there on the bank of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, the large body of water, the lake, and Mary Shelley is purported to have reached into the fire and pulled out the heart of Percy Bysshe Shelley and kept it uh, in between some pages in a book for the rest of her life. I, I, I don't know if that story is legit or apocryphal. I'll let you do your own research to find out. Now, let's introduce ourselves to Ode to the West Wind, one of the titles that we'll be studying of Shelley's along with Ozymandias and uh, Into a Skylark. Shelley wrote Ode to the West Wind in 1819 near Florence, Italy. It was published the following year as part of the collection. When he wrote the poem, the Peterloo Massacre of August 1819 had recently taken place. In this massacre in Manchester, England, cavalry disrupted a demonstration of some 70,000 people who were demanding parliamentary reform. Eleven people were killed and as many as 500 were injured. Other poems, Shelley wrote at the same time, addressed political change, revolution, and the role of the poet. And some people see these themes in Ode to the West Wind as well. It'll certainly no doubt, pay attention to all of that. All right, let's turn now to our study of Shelley and enjoy our study beginning with Ozymandias. Thank you.